So we got a Chevrolet out here. Looks like probably an 04, 05. 04 it says. The guy told me it uh, was overheating and lost a lot of power. So I don't know what that means, but we're gonna fire it up here and see what it sounds like first and foremost. fires right now that's good well let me look under the hood and make sure that it has coolant in it it appears to be pretty low so we're not gonna go on a test drive just yet I don't really smell any coolant it looks like it has a relatively new water pump on it I see that's Pretty shiny. I don't see any water running down the timing cover. I don't see it blasted up here under the hood like it was coming off the fan. You know, the belt's not all slimy. Well, that's interesting. The sides of the radiator look pretty dry. Usually these things tend to split and crack down the side of the tubs here. Uh, what I can see the face of the radiator it looks pretty dry well I say what we do before we go on a rep we will pressurize the system because like I say I can see it's quite low and uh, we'll see if we have any coolant loss if we don't then what we'll do is we'll fill it up with coolant and take it for a rip I see the money lights on too so we should see if that gives us any sort of clue also I must thought I just heard something. It must be quite low because it's kicking. Well, I'll pump this baby up. <laughs> oh, lady, you got a problem. Where the heck is that coming from? Oh, is it just the lower hose, maybe? Indeed. So it's leaking right out of that lower hose. I don't see the clamps being broke. Usually the clamps break. But yeah. Well, this guy might get away with it pretty easy. Get the pressure off that. We don't need that anymore. This is a pretty great bit of kit, folks, if you guys are looking for a good coolant pressure tester plus vacuum fill if you're into vacuum filling haven't ran across the vehicle yet i haven't had an adapter for it's made by another other than astro tools at your classic 78585 let's see if we can't reach down here i'm s i bet the clamp's gonna break as soon as we touch it i don't see a crack in it but usually that's what happens here yes sir there it goes yep well, that make, it makes them a real piss pot, but let's see if we can't unhook this thing. Yep, the clamp broke. And that's what I figured there, fella. Um, yeah, this sucks. I don't know if we'll be able to get, if we get the hose off, it makes it quite a bit easier. Um, I don't know how much you guys will be able to see. Well, let's see what we can do. Once you get the hose back, you can collapse the hose and get the piece of the, of the broken spring off there, the broken clamp rather. I'm just gonna keep working it here a little bit. Don't get much leverage up at this point here. Let me get a longer bar. It seems kind of overkill, but makes it a little bit easier for us. Baby, we're almost there. Oh, slipped a little. There we go. There, bottom half of the clamp fell off and it even hit the bucket. Even better. We'll pull off the top half of the clamp. So there she is. So that's what happens. The dang clamps break and start peeing all over. And this one doesn't even really appear to be that rusty. So that's kind of interesting. The one on the Dodge trucks, they always rust out here. 
Um, so let me just go get a regular hose clamp and we'll be on the road. Your standard worm drive. We'll slip that baby over the hose. We'll slip that hose right back on there. There we go. That will get us a long screwdriver here. Or nut driver, see if we can't get that uh, twirled on. I don't know if you guys could see any of what we just did, but you can use your imagination if you want. And I'm not going through and doing all the hoses and selling them a radiator and replacing everything because I'll be honest with you folks, there's a reason this truck's not going on the lift. <laughs> That's because it doesn't have a frame anymore. So we're just going to do this. We're going to fill it up. I see he had some coolant in the truck. Looks like he's got some green universal stuff going on here. Some days the repairs are just too easy. And uh, I typically don't bring you guys along with stuff like this, but I've been trying to not discriminate on the repairs because this is just, you know, the day to day. This is what kind of stuff happens. This was not a scheduled appointment. The guy just dropped it off. And been out there for a couple days, just had a chance to look at it. So try to get them going here as quick as we can, but we got quite a backlog. That's kind of interesting. I just looked in there and the engine light was out. It was on when we pulled it in. And it, the oil doesn't look completely black, so that's good. Doesn't smell like it went nuclear. We'll just make sure the oil's full. We'll take it for a drive. Make sure it doesn't do anything funny. Yeah, we're just, just about at the full mark, so that's good. Cool, it's full. Wipe up our mess here. Let's take it for her up there and make sure everything's cool. And uh, go from there, I guess. So there's the rest of that clamp. Like I said, you can see that just the random crack. One of these got me one time. It was on a Dodge pickup. I remember I had it in just for service. And of course, it's smoking hot. It's getting ready to do an oil change on it. And I think I just went over and squeezed the upper hose and I didn't realize the clamp was broken. The whole hose blew off, covered me with hot coolant. It was pretty awesome just because of some stupid little clamp like that. Maybe that started my extreme hatred for Dodge. I don't know. Make sure we're going to have some heat coming out of the dash here. It's just starting to warm up there. Oh yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit of warm air here. Oh, she's the basic. AM FM. Rubber floor. No four wheel drive thing either. Oh boy. Yeah, that's Pamela Anderson's Ford Splash. She just stopped by for a minute. I think we're safe to leave it at that folks i'm gonna get out check under the hood make sure everything looks good there i'm sure it will and that's it yeah like i said kind of an easy fix but sometimes when we uh, go out and grab these out of the parking lot we don't know what we're getting into until we get into it how profound of a statement is that 
And uh, why don't you guys go leave me a profound statement down in that comment section. Where down there? The questions. This is for the Insty. This is for the Facebook. The concerns, the comments, anything you got, dump it down in the comment box. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.